Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 3 of ASP.NET. In the last video, we discussed about the difference between desktop application and web application. Today, we will see what are the softwares that are required to develop any application by using .NET. If you want to develop any web application uh, by using ASP.NET, let us see the softwares that are required. So, actually, you have to install uh, basically four softwares we need to install. One is SQL Server. First of all, you have to install SQL Server, uh, latest version 2008 R2 or 2014. Is it clear? And then you have to install SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Management Studio. And then you have to install .NET Framework. .NET Framework. And we need to install Microsoft Visual Studio Editor. Microsoft Visual Studio Editor. These are the four softwares that are required to develop the application because generally when you develop any web application what is required one uh, database is required one uh, uh, technology is required language is required is it clear so in order to develop the application you need to in order to manage the databases database softwares and everything we used sql server different versions are there is it clear? But you can install 2014 or any other latest version also, no problem. Is it clear? So, first of all, you must know what is .NET Framework. So, .NET Framework is nothing but it is a product of Microsoft. So, .NET Framework is a software framework which was developed by Microsoft, which provides some set of predefined class libraries to develop the application and it provides a runtime environment to run the application. So if you want to develop any application, uh, some, uh, what is required, some predefined uh, classes are required. Some coding is basically, at the time of developing the application, we need to first design the application. We need to design the application, and then we need to write the coding, and then we need to uh, try to debug the application, compile the application generally. Next, you have to run the application. These are the four steps we need to follow. So actually in .NET, lot of topics are there. What are the topics that are available? Means, for example, if you want to interact with the database, you have one technology called ADO.NET. If you want to work with exception handling, you have one concept called exception handling. If you want to work with collections, if you want to work with generics, if you want to work with threading, if you want to work with a lot of concepts are there. WCF, MVC, etc. So Microsoft has given a lot of predefined classes and methods that are required for this particular application. These all are kept under class libraries. So class libraries provide some set of predefined classes and methods to develop the application. Okay, na? Generally in uh, technology what will happen means the number of lines of code will reduce. Microsoft will give you ready-made code. As a developer you must know how to use that one. So here, if you want to work with database connectivity, you have to learn one technology, ADO.NET. Similarly, if you want to perform an exception handling, you have to learn exception handling, collections, generics, threading, WCF, MVC. Is it clear? If you want to work all these um, concepts, you have to install .NET Framework. So .NET Framework uh, provides some set of predefined class libraries to develop the application and it is responsible to run the application. It, it will provide a runtime environment. So simply you can tell .NET Framework is equal to, you can tell something like class libraries plus CLR. CLR is a runtime environment. Is it clear? CLR full form is Common Language Runtime. It is responsible to uh, run the application. And uh, memory management, memory allocation, memory deallocation, all these things will be taken care of by CLR. So, definitely you need to install .NET Framework. Without .NET Framework, uh, it is not possible to run. So, here we will see about what is Microsoft Visual Studio Editor. It is a development environment. It is a development environment which is used to develop different types of applications. Is it clear? Development environment or simply you can call as IDE. Integrated Development Environment. IDEs means editors actually. If you want to write any program, some editors are required, no? But uh, like Java people will use Edit Plus, 
some uh, python people will use idle integrated development language environment angular developers will use visual studio code similarly dot developers will use microsoft visual studio editor it is an editor it is an integrated development environment which is used to develop different types of applications so if you want to write any programs you have to install visual studio editor it is an environment the main beautiness of this visual studio editor is from an, uh, you can develop any type of application with a single software which is not uh, that flexibility is not there in other environments dotnet if you want to work with c sharp dotnet asp dotnet asp dot and mvc or uh, dotnet core any high end technology you can write the code by using this uh, within this editor so two softwares are there dotnet framework is required microsoft visual studio editor is required generally every software will have different versions are there every software will have different versions are there similarly dotnet is also having different versions is it clear why the new version is released in the market depending on what the user requirement depending on the user requirement the versions will what release in the market and that means uh, the main advantage of releasing new version is first main advantage is to overcome the drawbacks in the previous versions if any bugs or errors are identified in the older version we have to rectify that errors in the latest version that is one advantage another advantage is new features will be added in the latest version another advantage is if any bugs are identified in the older version that will be rectified in the latest version and another main advantage is developer burden will be reduced and in a latest version what will happen means lot of code will become as predefined so the developer job will become very easy nowadays you take any mobile lot of latest version mobiles are coming uh, windows operating system initially you have windows xp later windows vista later windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 something like that new features will be added once a new latest version will be released in the market the old versions are not available okay na? so let us see what are the different versions that are available in dotnet so here i try to show you the visual studio versions actual did you understood visual studio versions and dotnet framework versions here if you observe clearly these are the dotnet framework versions and these all are what visual studio versions okay na? so generally every version will have some number version number version numbers are basically of four types some 0 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 and the first zero represents a major version number second zero represents the minor version number third zero represents the build version number fourth zero represents the revised version number generally version numbers are basically divided into four types okay na? so mostly if any major modifications are there between the latest version then the major version number will change minor modification minor number will change but mostly will concentrate on first two version numbers so if i write 1.0 1 is major version 0 is minor version number so this is the version history of microsoft dot net framework and visual studio editor generally visual studio editor version uh, uh, numbers will be represented with years dotnet framework version will be represented with version numbers so what are the differences between one version to another version means some new features are not supported in older versions like mvc if you take you cannot work with mvc in 2.0 like that no, uh, but when you install 4.0 or these softwares mvc will come now the latest version is 4.8 that is released in 2019 that is very beautiful it will support dotnet core cloud based applications uh, asp core all these things is it clear so better if you want to work with asp.net you can go for 2013 or 2015 that is enough 2019 don't install if you want to work with asp.net it will not support actually it is very high end software especially for a .net core mvc core asp core all these things it it is supported so visual studio editor is an editor visual studio editor is what it is a software which is used to what uh, develop these all are the different versions you see is it clear dotnet framework version history is it clear version number and it uh, what windows it is uh, what operating system it will run all these details you can see here the latest version is 2019 visual studio 2019 is it clear but i already installed the software if anybody 
don't know how to install just to search in youtube okay now just go to youtube and search how to install visual studio editor by kanna babu you type you will get similarly how to install dot net sql server by kanna babu you type you will get differently okay everyone so yeah, these are the main differences between microsoft visual studio editor and dot net framework in the next video we'll discuss some more uh, in the next video, I will discuss about what are the different windows that are available in Visual Studio, how to create a project in Visual Studio, we will discuss.